Hey guys, it's First Second Vogue here, and um, today just going through uh, box puzzles for clue scrolls, all that sort of thing, since um, dies just came out, well, they came out a couple of days ago, so I thought I'd show how uh, I do puzzles and whatnot. So, Channel switched. First, first you just start by, um, you want to do the top row, the second row, third row, um, from the top, um, then you want to do the two side ones. Another two, then another two, and then the last four. Um, so yeah, just use the hint thing. It's really useful. Um, but yeah, so you just sort of... There's, you'll sort of work out um, patterns of how to move stuff around and all that sort of thing. Um, and once you get those down, you'll get you do these really easy. Um, but yeah, so I'm just going to do this one. There's not going to be much commentary for this one, because, um, yeah, there's not much to talk about, but, um, yeah, I'll just show you how I do them, and that sort of stuff. Um, so there we go, there's the top row, just double checking what I need, so it needs to be this there, so we go, this one, then there like that, and then the face, there's his face. Um, and then it's the top and the three spikes. So we go like this. Oopsie. Um, so yeah, the trick to doing these little two parts here, because you can't just put them in singular like you do with the other three, other three of the line. Um, you want to put just the one that needs to go on the end first. And just do it like that, as you can see. Uh, so I need this chest piece right here. Like that. Then the bandage looking thing. Bandages in and... Okay, so in this circumstance you can do it like this. Um, then we just need that there. Oh, that's easy. Sweet. So you just go like this. And there's those two parts done. Is that done? Uh, and then what we need the bottom big bit. Ah, oh, sweet. Works out easy. So yeah, that's how it's done. That's the order you need to do them in. Um, and yeah, I'll do this, and then when we get to the Celtic Knot, I'll show you how I do uh, Celtic Knots as well. Alright, see you soon. And one part of the clue, we now have a Celtic Knot. Um, so the idea of working these out is you can do the brute force method, method which is just, um, say you'd move the red one around the whole way, um, and then you'd move the blue one once, and um, you'll eventually get it. Uh, that's the brute force way. I don't really like that way. I prefer to just actually like study it for a bit and sometimes you'll just get off lucky. So um, what you want to do is you want to work with two of the colors. So, um, but they can't be separated. So you can't do like red and white. You can't do this with red and white. It doesn't work like that. Um, well, the way I do it at least. So you get uh, red and blue, for example. Um, so we look, so we go, all right, there's a lava. Um, rune. Now you go look in the blue, and as you can see, there's a lava rune right there. So what we'll do is, we'll move this around, get the lava rune, and then we mix this in with the lava rune there. And as you can see, it hasn't matched these ones, so that's not correct. Um, so next we have soul, so we'll check soul. Nope, they ain't right either. Um, what other ones do we have? Okay, so we will try Chaos. Chaos didn't work for that one. Let's try next Chaos. Nope, that didn't work. Um, okay, so we look for another one. So red both have, I believe they're steam runes. And blue does not have any steam runes. So we know steam's out of the mix. Blue has dust runes. Um, Okay, so um, if we move this here, what goes over it? Body. 
Oops, sorry. Um, we have body right behind that, so then if we move this to there, we move this blue one down. Uh, I don't think that's correct. Oh. Yeah, that's correct. So as you can see, I just chose a rune. I was like, okay, uh, mud. Um, and as you can see, it's got the four matched up, which is where the cross sections of the white, uh, sorry, the blue and the red um, have their cross sections. So those are the only cross sections that um, red and blue touch. And after that, it's just a simple matter of doing, moving the other one once, then there you go. You know, look it like that. There you get your next part of the clue. Um, so yeah, I, I know this hasn't been a uh, very good commentary wise, but, um, uh, I kind of hope that I showed that in a good way that you can understand. Um, it's more or less, you just choose a rune and you just put that rune in a spot. Um, the other way you can do it too is if you look at the rune and you go, okay, the other intersections, three spaces behind. And if you look at the original one that you looked at so for example the red one and you're like oh okay there's a mud rune behind that's a body rune three behind that's a body rune and you go okay um on the red one there's a mud rune and three behind that is a body rune which is where both of the um intersections are so if that's the case then that's 50 percent chance that you've got the right one it's more than likely you've got the right one then if that's the case um, that's more of, I guess, an advanced method of doing it, but it kind of puts a strain on your brain, if you know what I mean. Um, but yeah, other than that, that's, um, how I do them. I don't like the brute force method because sometimes you'll go like, say a certain way and if you had have gone one space back from when you started it, that could have been it. And sometimes they take 10 minutes, but if you look at it like I did, it only took two minutes and I only just opened it then. So I had no time to study it whatsoever until I turned the, um, the video back on but yeah guys sorry for this to be like a seven minute video but um i hope it's been informative and helpful um also thanks for the views and subs that's quite good that i've gotten so many in such a little time um it does mean a lot and it's good to see that i'm helping people um but yeah so thank you guys all for watching uh, i hope you have a good day and i'll see you next video